When it comes to looking for a dock for your Steam Deck, it's really becoming harder and easier to recommend different docks because at this point, they're so a dime a dozen that a lot of them, they don't stand out and a lot of them are using the same OEM, which is why they all look like the original JSOX dock. Now I do give credit to some companies that go for completely different looks when it comes to their Steam Deck docks, but man, a lot of them, they all look the same. But here we are with the new one from a company, Nixie. You guys know that I've reviewed some products from Nixie with their Joy-Cons. I said they were absolutely fantastic. I've got some more stuff from them that I'm gonna be reviewing down the road. But I want to talk to you today about this Nixie Steam Deck dock, which is an Aiden one, and why it actually offers you more ports than just about any other dock on the market. And if you want to pick one of these up, I do have a link in the description. Full disclosure, this was sent to me by Nixie, so just so you guys know. But if you want to pick it up, link's down in the description. So uh, before we dive further into this video, if you enjoy the content I put out, from Steam Deck content, shorts, tech reviews, game reviews, and so much more, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, ding the notification bell, and uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this review of the Nixie Aiden One Steam Deck Dock. All right, everyone, I want to take a moment to thank our amazing sponsor, Mood. Mood is an online dispensary that ships Delta 8 and Delta 9 products all over the United States legally. I absolutely love using their products because they give you a wide variety of options to choose from, from edibles such as cookies, Rice Krispies treats, and even gummies. They also have pre-rolls and Delta 8 hash. One of my personal favorites to use is none other than the 30 milligram Delta 9 THC CBD gummies. These right here will have you on an interstellar journey, I'm telling you. Man, I haven't had a high like that in a long time and I can consistently have it with this. The genius of Mood is the fact that they found a way to isolate the compounds in Delta 8 and Delta 9 into THC and ship it legally all over the US. And the shipping is really fast too. And each of their products caters to a different mood that you want to experience. If you want to feel sensual and sexy, then go ahead, they've got some for you. If you want to be focused and be able to get your projects and your work and whatever else you got to get done, they got that for you too. Or if you want an out of body, interstellar experience and discover all their life forms in your high state, they also got that for you as well. Now, just so you know, Delta 8 does provide a less intense high than traditional weed or pot, but if you take Delta 9, you're going interstellar. <laughs> you're going on a trip, trust me. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to mood.co and use code Mikkel free gummy so you can get a five pack free, absolutely free, sent to you, or use the code Mikkel20 to get 20% off of your first order. Or if you want, you can just use both codes and enjoy all the benefits that come with that. Mood is an absolutely amazing sponsor of Hawaii's number one podcast, the Casanova Podcast, as well as all of the Mikkel Cast Casanova brand and they're showing me a lot of aloha and I'm going to share that with you too. So check them out, use the codes and enjoy the journey. And with that, let's get back into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to say when it comes to this dock from Nixie is I like the feel of it. This is very sturdy. Now this is an aluminum magnesium build that's just like if you hit somebody with this, you're probably going to knock them out. Please don't do that. But this is a really impressive build. Like, I like the way this looks. It doesn't look like the typical JSOX, you know, dock knockoff. This is a completely different design compared to any of the other docks that I've seen. But this one really looks good, it feels good. What I like too is where the Steam Deck will sit is an area that you can put as much or as little of the included anti-slip grip. Now I just unpeeled the whole thing and put it all in there. But uh, yeah, this right here, I like the uh, I like the feel of it. I like the fact too, that this is a dock that doesn't block the ventilation on the back because of this little riser. It basically just sits in place and it doesn't block the ventilation whatsoever. Cause this does have a bit of a sloped angle and it's a lower profile compared to everything else that's on the market that I've seen so far. And what I also like about this dock is it does work with cases. So if you're using the JSOX case or if you're using the uh, D brand kill switch, then this dock will work with your Steam Deck being in those cases, no issues whatsoever. It might be a little snug, 
but it still works nonetheless. So you don't have to worry about that. So what you do get with this dock compared to every other dock that's out there is you get three USB 3.0, ports as well as an HDMI 2.0 and you get display port 1.2 and you got your power delivery through and you also get your gigabit ethernet here on the side so now where this one differs compared to other steam deck docks is it does have a VGA built into it now I don't personally have anything that utilizes VGA I don't even have any VGA connections but it comes with it so if you want it to do you know, if you want to go into the Steam Deck's uh, desktop mode and you want to have three monitors out, then yeah, you could have VGA, DisplayPort, and HDMI. Uh, honestly, outside of the DisplayPort and HDMI, I don't know why you would use the VGA, personally. I don't, you know, like, I haven't used VGA since I was doing IT, like, four or five years ago, so it, it's kind of... <laughs> It's interesting that this is on here, but I mean, at the very least, this does give you the option. So, you know, you're not left completely without additional video options. Now, what I would have personally preferred if I were to, you know, consulted them on making a Steam Deck dock is I would have told them, hey, you know, forget the VGA port, give me another display port or give me another, you know, HDMI port or you know, possibly even put an HDMI 2.1. I know they're they're not gonna put that on this, but you know, that would have been nice as opposed to VGA port, which I think is a port that, you know, I don't see a lot of modern consumers that, that would be using that. I know some people don't even understand the importance of using a display port. I've had them on my podcast before and it's kind of interesting, but you know, uh, display ports, for me are my primary video outs and then I use my HDMI usually for my consoles. Um, so yeah, having those two on here, I think it's really cool. And like I said, this is one of the bigger docks when it comes to like overall size. So yeah, I don't know how I feel overall about having a, a VGA input. Uh, I, I think I could have done with either another display port or another HDMI. I, I don't think I needed that. But other than that, uh, you do get a braided cable, so where it goes into plug into the Steam Deck, uh, it's braided, it's flexible, it's longer than most of the ones you'll see with other docks, and I do like that because what this does effectively is it allows you to have additional room if you're using you know specific cases or anything like that or accessories it's enough room for it to just go up and clamp on it and your steam deck if you put it in by itself uh it does fit in snugly um no wiggle room it, it'll just fit in perfectly because it is designed specifically to be used without a case but if you do have a case there is that additional room in it that allows you to uh, put it in there now compared to other Steam Deck docks that I personally use um, As far as this one with having you know your ports being used as well as your um, Power delivery going into it. This one gets a little warm, but it doesn't get anywhere near as hot as the other Steam Deck docks that I've used like it, it's actually pretty neat how little heat this thing actually does draw. So I don't have to worry about it, you know, overheating my Steam Deck. And that's the beauty also of having the anti-slip bar is it kind of acts as a little bit of a buffer to that heat going to your Steam Deck that typically a lot of the docks give off. So I, I do like that, you know, and on the bottom, you do have the anti-slip grips on the bottom too. So that's also really cool. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this. I, I think this is a really great, um, Steam Deck dock. I think if you're looking for having the most ports and uh, video options, this is definitely one you're going to want to pick up. Although, again, I think the VGA for, that's going to be very niche. I, I can't really think of many people I know that actually utilize that for their Steam Deck. Display port, yes. HDMI, yes. Uh, VGA, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, that that's one that uh, I, I uh, yeah, I don't know how many people are actually gonna be using that. But nonetheless, it's a great dock, great build, uh, feels really good, very sturdy, and I like the braided cable. And I like the, the unique design of it because it doesn't look like everything. Like when you go on Amazon, you look up Steam Deck docks, you know, you'll see a, a dime a dozen, they all look alike. This one doesn't have that look to it, so. Um, yeah, 
So if you want to pick one of these up, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. Again, thank you to Nixie for sending this over to me. I think this is an incredible dog and uh, one that I'll be using at my secondary station. I've already got my primary one set up here and that's the one with the M.2. And yeah, I know I complained about that, but that right there is actually really cool. But uh, yeah, I've got this right here. I'm going to use this as my secondary station in the living room. And uh, yeah, I want you guys to let me know what you think about it. Is this something you're considering picking up? And uh, if you do want to pick this up, link will be in the description down below. And uh, beyond that, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what Steam Deck docs you're using. And what are you using your Steam Deck now? All that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Be blessed. Make sure you to like the video. All that stuff that YouTube likes for the algorithm greatly helps out the channel. If you want to pick up any other Steam Deck accessories, I have links down in the description down below, as well as uh, if you want to pick up some games that are coming out too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be blessed, have aloha, and I'll see you around.